So let's go to Shan Wu now because he's a former federal prosecutor who was also counsel to, at the time, Attorney General Janet Reno. All right, Chen, good to have you, you on. Okay, so first, let's just talk about the, the January 6th committee. They want to go ahead and, and maybe move to, you know, try to slam Mark Meadows with contempt if he doesn't show up tomorrow and, and speak, and there's no indication that he's going to show up tomorrow and speak. Um, so do you think there's teeth to what they say, given that the DOJ hasn't yet said anything about going ahead with a charge on, on Bannon? I think there is teeth to what they say, Aaron. Uh, you know, they can't control what DOJ does. They can make a criminal referral, and they should uh, in this case, or they could make the request for the civil referral, but that would be pretty slow going for them. So I don't think they're going to consider whether the AG has acted yet. Uh, the important thing to remember, I think we often forget, is that you know, he's got to show up. I mean, he can show up and assert privileges, but this idea that he can just sit back and say, I'm not going to show up because I'm listening to the former president, that, that's obviously contempt of Congress. So they definitely should refer that. Right, right. So he could show up and do uh, as the uh, former DOJ official Clark did and just basically say nothing. I guess that's what we expect. So um, let me ask you about the appeals court, though, because, you know, Basically, Meadows could be waiting for executive privilege to play out, which plays out vis-a-vis -vis Bannon and the DOJ, but it also plays out uh, with this appeals court ruling. You know, there are, are some who thought that this would be a little easier for the committee, uh, that they wouldn't, you know, have to wait another few weeks or possibly even longer to get this information. Were you surprised by their decision today to sort of give this temporary, I don't want to use the word victory, but this stay in favor of Trump? Um not too surprised. Uh, there's no way that Trump's legal team can like this panel of judges. I think they have to be very well, worried about sure, them. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it, it's a reasonable delay. They're saying we want to fully hear the arguments. I, mean, I think it's been pretty well briefed already and addressed by the district court judge. Um, but I would take their words uh, at full face value. It's not at all an opinion on the merits, no matter what Trump's team tries to spin it as. You know, it's interesting. Trump hasn't said anything. You know, we point out about these judges. He hasn't said anything about them. Um, and he's never been shy about criticizing judges. You know, remember the Trump University lawsuit, the asylum ban, lawsuits to overturn the 2020 election that he lost? He had things to say about all those judges. Let me just remind everybody. I've been treated very unfairly by this judge. Now, this judge is of Mexican heritage. I'm building a wall. Okay, I'm building a wall. I think he should recuse himself. Every case that gets filed in the Ninth Circuit, we get beaten. This was an Obama judge. It's a disgrace what happens with the Ninth Circuit. No judge has had the courage, including the Supreme Court. I am so disappointed in them. All right, so, um, you know, when, when you look at what happened here, Judge Chuckin already ruled against Trump on executive uh, privilege. And, you know, before that, she had called the January 6th crowd a, a violent mob seeking to overthrow the lawfully elected government. Um, so she, she, you know, she had a point of view as, a, as an individual, right? And then she, she ruled as a judge. Trump hasn't called her out. He hasn't called this panel of judges out. It's not like him. Why do you think it, it is? Yeah, it's always hard to speculate as to uh, what's going on inside of Trump's mind. And I don't consider him to be much of a strategist. He's very impulsive, as yeah. we all know. I just think it's a little bit off his radar screen for some reason. And most importantly, I think he really believes that he's got the Supreme Court in his pocket because of his ability to put on these conservative judges. And he used to always talk about the court that way. And he may be just feeling like once it gets there, it's going to be taken care of for me. So maybe that's why he hasn't gone at the judges Pretty yet, interesting. But, and they have not been <laughs> right. ruling uh, in favor, didn't right. rule in favor of his election <laughs> challenges. And certainly even on things like abortion, haven't indicated uh, uh, the conservative bent that many said they would. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate your help. Sure thing. Good to see you. And next, top business leaders.